Hello Sign Tutorial. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Hello Signs and how you can use it to manage your document. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to hellosigns.com. Now once you're over here, all that is left for you to do is just simply sign up and you can sign up by clicking on the try Hello Sign for free button. Now simply click on this button wait a couple of seconds and once the page load up so over here as you can see it's pretty simple uh it's just like dropbox because it is a dropbox company like the sign up page is similar to it so what you have to do is just simply sign up with google or dropbox i recommend signing up with dropbox because it's a dropbox company but if you don't have a dropbox you can sign up with google as well or you can just go ahead and simply enter in your email address and then just simply click on create an account I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google because that way uh, all of my documents are going to be synced with Hello Science as well. So I wouldn't have to import them manually as well. So once you've done that, you will basically come over onto this page over here. And over here, they're going to ask you to select a plan. Now you have three plans in front of you. You have the essential plan, the standard plan and the premium plan. Whichever one you choose, they all have free trials as, as you can see over here. The premium one doesn't have that, just the essential and standard has one. So go ahead and choose whichever one you want. I'm going to go ahead and click on the essential one as of right now. And over here, all you have to do is start your free trial today. Just simply enter in your full name, your, the card number, the expiration date, the CVV, postcode and stuff like that. And then just simply agree to their terms and services and click on start free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll catch you guys in the little bit. So once you've entered in all the information, this is how the web page will look like. And over here in front of you, you have two options. You have sign or send and create a template. Now, if you click on create a template, you'll basically be able to create a template of your document. And then over here on the left side, you have sign documents, you have bulk send, you have templates you have documents you have teams and then you have integrations and then at the top right here you have signed documents and then you have your email address that you can you know click on over here and you can create a signature for you and then down below you have some other stuff such as pricings products fine print and faqs and stuff like that so first things first when we are on a document site like this we need to create a signature now to create a signature just simply come over here onto your email and over here just hover your mouse over here and the option will appear in front of you you can create your signature by clicking on this button over here and then over here you can either draw it in like this just simply hold down your mouse button and draw your signature or you can go ahead and enter in your name and you can change the fonts or by clicking on this button over here choose whichever one you want depends upon you and then finally you have a picture option basically where you can snap a photo of your signature and then you can upload that over here and then the software will just automatically apply that picture wherever your signature is needed so i would recommend typing in your name because it's one of the most easiest forms out there but if you do want to have your own signature what i would recommend is draw it in as well so it's pretty easy like you can draw whichever one you want it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter everything is pretty sim simple and smooth like this one over here i'm going to click on select once you have drawn your signature and once you have you done your signature as you can see it's over here this is how it will look like and whenever you sign a document you can just simply place a signature over there so let's just go over here and click on templates so we can find a template for us to you know choose from so over here once we click on templates we can either create templates create link and templates or template links so i what i want is templates so over here as you can see we have no templates ready yet we have to create a template first so click on create first template and over here we'll have to upload a document that we want so simply upload the file you can either drag and drop the files over here or you can upload them by clicking on this button and select the file that you want so let's just go ahead and upload the file that we want so find the file where you downloaded it over here 
wait for a couple of seconds for the file to upload so as you can see it's uploading and it's uploaded now all we have to do is click on next and over here we can add some roles so if we want to have a role and assign that role to someone all we have to do is enter in the role title and then add and then add another role that we want people to you know have so we'll just say this is the signer as of right now simply click on next and then you have place fields so over here this document has a pre-existing field and would like to include them include so over here what that means is place fields are like this they're like places where you can add text as well so as you can see this document already had them over here so you there was no need for us to you know add them so over here so this is a w8 pen form so of course it had a lot of place fields as well so over here all we have to do is just simply add our signature and we can add our signature by clicking on this button over here and changing it the assign to me and over here this is our signature and click on insert and once we have inserted our signature all we have to do is click on next and over here we can just add a recipient basically add an email that we want to send if you don't want to send it to anyone you can leave it blank and then down below we can just like add in the title so this was a w8 pen form and once we've done that just simply click on save template wait a couple of seconds for the template to be saved it's taking quite some time and as you can see the template has been created and we can use this template for our team and share it with them and let them know how to do things and then that is basically it so as you can see this is the template that we created over here and then down below we have documents so if you click on documents over here are going to be the documents that needed to be signed awaiting for signature completed decline draft templates and template links and such and such they're all going to be color coded and color organized so make sure you look out for the documents with the blue mark that means that those documents are waiting to be signed and then down below we have team so in team we can add in more members as well so currently we can only use one member which is me because it is one of the free plans as of right now but as soon as you upgrade the plan you'll be able to enter in more personnel onto your team and down below we have integrations so for integrations we can see we have a dropbox we have gmail we have google docs google drive hello sign microsoft word zapier evernote onedrive slack and qq catalyst we have all these different types of integrations and we can go ahead and click on activate to activate them so if you want to have google drive just simply click on activate and wait a couple of seconds so as you can see it's logging into our google drive account just simply select the google drive that you want and simply click on allow as you can see the drive is now linked to hello sign to start syncing your hello sign files please check your email and grant sync so once you've done that then the application will be integrated with hello sign so as you can see it's pretty easy we can integrate any application that we want i just showed you and if you want to deactivate them just simply click on deactivate and it'll deactivate just like that you don't even have to do anything and then we have billing now basically if you want to cancel your subscription just come over here and you can switch to monthly or stuff like that or you can go ahead and change your plan and cancel your plan completely so it's pretty simple it's pretty easy so if i click on sign or send over here we'll basically the exact same thing we'll basically upload the file we'll add the signers we'll place the fields and fill them out after that we'll review them and send the document out to people who need to see it so it's pretty simple it's pretty easy to use so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye